chocolate milk, por favor. Celebrating Diversity with Empathy by Maria Dismondi, illustrated by Donna Farrell. Johnny was walking into school when he first saw the new kid. What a baby, he thought, as the boy cried and held his mother's hand. She whispered something to him, words that sounded different to Johnny. Mmm, delicioso. The boy smacked his lips as his mother handed him a chocolate milk. Let's welcome Gabe to our classroom family. He will not understand our words at first. Think about what you can do to help him. Johnny's teacher announced with a smile. Johnny didn't smile. He didn't like boys who cried. At reading time, Gabe sat next to Johnny. Johnny pulled his book close to his chest. I'm not sharing with him, he thought. Cry baby, whispered Johnny to Gabe. Gabe didn't say a word. It was lunchtime. Gabe whispered to the lunch aide, Lete con chocolate, por favor. The boy behind him announced, I think he wants a chocolate milk. Johnny watched his friend help Gabe and spoke up. Look, he's not like us. He can't even order lunch. Johnny sat and enjoyed his lunch while Gabe sat alone drinking his chocolate milk. During recess, Johnny spotted Gabe doing a tricky soccer move he had been trying to master for weeks. He just couldn't do it. Join our team, a girl shouted to Gabe. Gabe didn't move until she motioned for him to come over. Gabe waved over to Johnny before running to the field but Johnny ignored him. The team high-fived their new teammate. Well, look at him. He thinks he's so cool. Johnny told himself as he blinked back tears. I won't be a crybaby. Johnny's jaw dropped. Why were they being nice to Gabe? What fun was he when he couldn't even talk? All week, Johnny watched Gabe from a distance. Gabe came to school every day. He still never said anything, but was trying new things. By the end of the week, Johnny sat alone at lunch. Gabe was surrounded by boys and girls laughing and sharing with him. At recess that day, Gabe kicked the soccer ball over to Johnny. Johnny shook his head no. Gabe did the tricky move anyhow. It's so hard. How do you do it? Johnny asked. Gabe showed him the move over and over again. Finally, Johnny did it. Yes, he shouted. Gabe beamed and patted him on the back. As Johnny walked back to the school, Gabe silently by his side, something clicked for him. He got it. That horrible feeling of being frustrated and wanting to cry because he couldn't get the soccer move. That's how Gabe must have felt learning a new language. I did it. I finally got the tricky move and Gabe is getting it too, Johnny believed. The next morning, Gabe was walking into school when Johnny waved to him. Hi, he said, handing Gabe a carton of chocolate milk. I know it's your favorite, Johnny added. Thank you, Gabe replied. Johnny and Gabe 
both smiled. Today would be a great day. Johnny learned that actions speak louder than words. He understood that to have a friend is first to be a friend. And having a friend meant the world to Johnny. The Real Gabe this story is fiction, but based on an experience I shared with my first grader, Gabe. Gabe showed courage and strength as he transitioned into an English speaking environment, moving to the United States for his father's work just days prior to the start of school. My students were amazing in helping Gabe adjust to his new school. They respected each other's differences and learned from them. We made it a point to celebrate the diversity in our classroom family. I believe acts of kindness are worth more than a thousand kind words. It's true. I witnessed it firsthand.